Hello, this is Randy Schooneman with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is May 11th, 2017. And I'm out here with uh, Zach Rose, and we're doing a mainline inspection for the house at 122 West Amherst Court in Spokane, Washington. Uh, we've cabled this line. Uh, we actually made two passes. Uh, we had a really difficult time at about 85 feet. Then we pulled back, made sure the tip was clean, and went back out. The tip came back very, very polished, indicating uh, a lot of hard contact with pipe and or earth around the pipe. And uh, the second pass, we were able to get out 125 feet, so I know we hit the sewer line. Right now we're at about uh, 96 feet, uh, and we can't get any further. Uh, we are literally within probably two feet of the sewer that runs in the alley immediately north of the house, out the backyard. And uh, can't, the, can't get the camera out any further. I don't know if uh, maybe the line has become separated. Uh, we should be in six inch concrete according to the city. Uh, pulling back, uh, we've done several toilet flushes and you can see there's just an incredible amount of roots and earth in this line. Uh, pulling back, uh, again this is in six inch, there's nothing but roots and uh, debris in here. Uh, nope, that was a root. I thought maybe we had the edge of a pipe. Uh, it could be roots growing down from the Orangeburg into the pipe. Uh, quick aspect uh, check here. The bottom of the pipe's on the right hand side of the screen. You can see some water flowing through here. Um, it'll always be indicated by where the light is. That's where my camera's at. Uh, so the top of the pipe is on the uh, left hand side of the screen. This could possibly just be very, very badly uh, uh, overtaken by roots to the point where it can't be cleaned. Uh, we do have tools to clean this, but with an Orangeburg pipe we can't use it because we'll literally blow the pipe out of the ground. Uh, we do that with high pressure water. Here is a little bit more normal looking piece of, I'm going to guess this is concrete, uh, could possibly be Orangeburg. A uh, giant root intrusion there. We just passed the 90 foot mark and we're pulling back towards the house, of course. Um, I believe that is a rock right there sitting in the bottom of the pipe. Uh, another badly impacted area by roots. Uh, you just really can't tell where the pipe is at in this. Uh, the bottom of the pipe is on the right upper right hand side of the screen. That does look like Orangeburg. Uh, There is a, a seam right there that does look like concrete. Got an incredible amount of roots growing through that. We're pretty restricted with what we can get through this line in terms of a blade because of the uh, uh, restrictions created by 4 inch pipe. Being able to go into anything with anything larger to clean this out. Yeah, this does look like concrete here. I can see aggregate on the bottom. Uh, pretty healthy little separation there. You can see the lip of this pipe and then probably another uh, inch to two inch drop. At the top you can see where the roots have intruded. Uh, bottom in the pipe now is still in the upper right hand corner. Uh, quite a bit of debris in the line. We did get quite a bit of uh, mechanical feedback. Some roots retreat but not much. Right there, that looks like a rock possibly sticking through the side of the pipe. Uh, right here it looks like we are in Orangeburg. We don't see any aggregate from the concrete. Yes, we are definitely in Orangeburg here. Uh, this is at about, we did mark where we were at in the alley. I'm going to guess we're in Orangeburg here. This is about 75 feet. There's where we have either a rock or a bad blister on the pipe. You can see the entire edge of the pipe and the bottom part of the existing pipe. Uh, you can see right here at about uh, one thirty, two o'clock on the screen, um, we've got a blister there that's been torn off. Coming up on 70 feet here, some more rock in the line. Uh, bad blister right there, possibly going through to the ground under it. I mean, that's pretty sizable. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, fragments of pipe on the top. 
I think that could be just uh, marks that our cable has left in the orange berth. Bottom of the pipe now in the top of the screen. This part looks pretty good. Seems like we hit our worst blockages after 85 feet. This part here looks really nice. Um, thank you. Hey, John, Zach. It's Zach. Yeah. He's uh, doing a video inspection right now. Okay, we're coming up on 60 feet right here. Here's some really bad ovalization in this area. You can see some of the uh, uh, tearing of the pipe right here, blistering there and there. And, and that was at about 60 feet. Blistering there on the sides that you can see, um, real severe in this area. You can see it there on the uh, upper left hand side of the screen. There's just kind of a little trough in the blisters where the water goes through. Another blister there you can see here where the pipe, it's hard to tell if that's cracked or gone on the bottom. Uh, you can see where we're holding water here. Continuing to pull back, we're at the 50 foot mark now, continuing to pull back to the house. More blistering on the left, more blistering and tears in the pipe there, uh, more blistering there. Here's some giant blisters that have been torn off there. Um, could you have not run any water up, sir, please? Thank you. A uh, giant blister right here, uh, possibly, uh, oh yeah, you can see my camera moving around these particles of Orangeburg. couple of minor blisters there, continuing to pull back just past the 40 foot mark and pulling back towards the house still. Uh, you can see more blisters here. Um, right here it looks like we have some uh, in the Orangeburg between the layers there's a uh, reinforcing membrane of um, uh, looks almost like uh, plastic netting when I've seen it but you can actually see it through the Orangeburg right there at that blister. Uh, more of it here. Hard to tell if that is a rock or something else in the line. More blistering, a uh, giant blister right there. And we just passed the 30 foot mark. There's a blister that we've completely torn off. You can see there's a, uh, it's catching water at the bottom of the pipe. Uh, Pretty good size drop there. My camera lens is about an inch and a half. We're probably out of the bottom of the pipe right here. Uh, and that started as a blister, you can see. And we're at 30 feet pulling back towards the house. Uh, here's a section here. It's could be just a trough worn in the Orangeburg. Uh, I can see some blistering and I can feel, oh that was a blisters there that I felt with my camera head. Uh, right here we've got probably a two inch belly of water where we're either out the bottom of the pipe or it has settled. Another blister that we've torn off, another one there, uh, another portion of pipe that's probably missing or is settled. Again, my camera lens is about an inch and a half and it drops underwater in those two areas. We just passed the 20 foot mark, continuing to pull back. And another little big blister there that's been torn off.
Another giant blister that's still intact. More blisters. Uh, another big blister that is torn off and we're either out of the pipe or in layers of stuff. Pipe underneath it. Coming up on 10 feet here. More water, more blistering, so we're still in the Orangeburg. Okay, here we're in iron. We're going to try and locate this. Uh, here, now we're in iron, excuse me. Okay, now we're basically within uh, a few feet of the foundation wall. We're going to pause this recording very briefly so we can do a locate here. And then we'll resume the video inspection to the clean out for the last seven feet.